Hey yo together and very welcome to the Starcraft 2 Crazy Replay! As you can see against Colibri. You remember this guy? Right, that was the one who offered as Protoss and he was in Master League, but he graduated himself into GM and he's like something one top 100. So, this is his main race. He's playing Zerg on GM level against me. Enjoy the show, guys! We have on Coda Ladder Edition spawning the left top position the blue Zerg Colibri! And he's playing against me, the red Terran spawning in the right bottom position, it's Alex Sasha. Oh yeah, so now you can see high level TVC! Yes! Because it is high level TVC. Th those are the games where I. Wait. Where I was talking about uh, when I when I watched them, it looked like a professional not not a professional game, but a, a, a high level play with action, uh, multitasking, it's exciting, stuff like that. And this one is such a game. Oh yeah. So here we have it. Oh my god, it, it gives me shivers already just because of watching it again. Can't. And this guy is really good. I mean, he's Grandmaster. He made the jump into GM. And there we go. Extractor into pool. Super aggressive style against Barracks and Gas. Wow. 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 So we might see some very interesting build out of Colibri. Because now he's not off racing, he is main racing. He plays Zerg as main race. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh. So what will he choose? It could be roaches or speedlings. I guess we will see speedlings, but I could be wrong. I don't know this build yet. We see a reaper. That's fine. We see a wall. Also fine. So will he get speed? Yes. Okay. Could be a bane bust. One base? No, just speedlings. Okay. I don't know what this is for, um, but we will see. We will see. So he gets a queen and speedlings. Uh, I think that this build is quite weak for some reason. I mean, come on. He gets speedlings, he, he deni delays everything. He's against Terran, Warlock, hello. But we will see. Uh, behind that, he's taking an expansion at roughly the same time as I am, most likely. Oh, look at that! I'm going for the 2 Reaper. Oh, 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 that's very interesting. So I see the base, immediately turn back because I know what's coming. And throwing down a bunker. Uh, there's a second SCV here. Speed will finish soon, but not in time. This, oh, this will be perfect. The Reaper on its way back. The wall is closed. He sees it. He sees the bunker. But there are the two Reaper, and this is exactly what you need to do here. He can delay the bunker if he wants to, but he gets nothing done with this build. Speed finishes, but it doesn't matter. The bunker is ready, the command center wasn't delayed too much, and he put he has put so much effort into this attack to cancel the command center, but in the end it didn't work. Not at all. He might get the SCV now. Yeah, okay. That's, that's a bit annoying. So he deny he delays it a little bit, but what he initially wanted to achieve was a cancel. A cancel on the command center. Yes, it's denied, delayed a little bit, but it's fine. I can go super quick. Oh, he might lose the, the Overlord? Uh, no, the Overlord survives, most likely. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Will he lose the Overlord? He could, there are no speedlings out. Uh, uh, okay, so we have the, th the, the third command center here. No, the Overlord will die. Ooh, Colibri, what are you doing? Now he's supply capped. Let's have a look at the unit loss tab. Yeah, that's really looking good for me. So that's how you need to defend. You see, that base is laid. Bunker, immediately. 
Uh, it could have been roaches, but it's unlikely. It's very unlikely because roaches cost so much, and with the early roaches you get like seven of them because that's called the seven roach rush, and then you don't have enough uh, minerals for the expansion. So if you see the expansion that late, bunker, pull one or maybe two SCVs, micro your reaper and you're fine. He's going for third base right there. Very interesting spot, I think. Uh, but now Hellions are out, as well as the Reaper. He's producing 12 Zerplings. If they are in time... Uh, oh god, I didn't see it. Oh, I'm checking. With the Reaper, I'm checking. So now I know. And I see... One guess. Nothing special. Oh, he gets the wrap around. All the Hellions die. That was that was a huge mistake. So I see two gases. Uh, oh, oh god, losing the Reaper. That was good for him. That's one way to come back. Uh, if those Hellions would have survived and grouped up with those six, I could have delayed the creep a long time. And maybe even went in and killed a bunch of drones. Because there are a lot of drones there. 18 drones. He's getting a Bailing Nest and double Evo Chamber. That's good. So the game slowed down a little bit. But, worker-wise, I'm looking okay. Uh, I should produce constant worker, that's very important, and get in the barracks. As well as the orbital command is finished here, and yeah, there's the eBay. Double eBay for double upgrades, that's fun, that's good, that helps. I'm taking the gases, I got a Banji. Uh, I might get a Viking as well. The Banji is a bit odd, to be honest. It doesn't do anything for me. Uh, I'm waiting for the Viking, I guess, but my gas count is so bad. Yeah, I should saturate that one. Uh, the Benji killed one circling. I mean, the Benji is nice. I can clear the watchtower, I can be a bit annoying. Uh, Benji wins in a 1v1 again. Look at that, I see two circlings. Uh, Benji wins in a 1v1 against the Queen, so that's fine as well. Three circling kills. It's not worth it, but at least it's something. And maybe later on, if it doesn't die, I can focus fire some banelings. Who knows? So we will see. The drone count count for Colibri is quite good. A bit oversaturated here, but this will fix as soon as the gas guys is finished up. Extractors. Mm, turrets are on the way. There is no spire yet. He's getting a macro hatch. That's good. Some turrets on the way. I need more units. So. My three base economy will kick in soon, and with that also my production, so I will crank out a lot of marines. And I guess I will soon also produce, uh, construct more barracks. But for now, I need more medivacs. I need medivacs, I need to start dropping, otherwise this is going quite wild. Because I, I allowed him to catch up with losing the Hellions. So the Spire, yes it's very late, but 1-1 one, one is in time, roughly, it's, it's fine. I need to throw on some supply depots here as well. Very important. Uh, but it's l it looked like I'm moving out. His creep spread is okay, but not really good. He should also creep spread up there, I guess. Uh, yeah. There you go. And. Hmm. Unit wise, he needs more bane links. Four bane links? It's not enough. Uh, I guess I can't scan, can I? No. And there are the medivacs, finally. So he's a bit nervous, as it looks like. But the banelings are finishing. Oh, he's even repositioning the spore crawler. No, he's producing one spore crawler. That's nice. Not only against the bench, but also against the widow mines, just in case the overseer dies. There's a small counter attack. Will be spotted by the banshee, and the counter attack will spot the drop, which is nice. So I'm clearing those creep tumors. The circling's moving in. The widow mine! Oh, 12 kills here, 17 kills on the other one. That was huge. You can't engage like that. And there we go. Bye bye, Queen. The Banshee providing some firepower. And there we go. There's a the drop. And a move forward. Another scan might go down. There we go. Oh, look at that stim. That's so cute. Uh, for now, just killing the Spore Crawler. Six drones killed in total so far. 1 1 against 1 1. Uh, he loses two more queens, that's not good, he's in huge trouble. Pulling back there, Neutral is finally out. Uh, not the best splits here. He might clean this, yeah. 
But there's the Banshee killing more and more stuff. So in the end, I would say this Banshee is worth it. Killing the Bane Link, that's nice. Okay, so now it goes down. 12 kills on that Banshee, that's good. Widowmine gets a good shot off. 2-2 two -two on the way. Uh, there's a small counter attack. Still, oh god. Okay. And as you can see, more barracks were produced, added here, as well as a factory. Mm, this 2-2 two -two is in time. It's even earlier than mine. Drilling Claws on the way and Thor as well. So here we see a drop. There's a the counter attack. Finally, should have hit like minutes ago. But, uh, oh no, the circlings are dropping. They are not tanking. So this is not dealing anything. Uh, well, he gets some kills. That's nice. But, yeah, four kills. That's not too much. The drop has been spotted. There's the Widow Mine. Mm, does he see it? He didn't realize. It's on creep. There we go. As well as here. I'm not producing as much as I should. But it's okay. Oh, I, I'm gunning down the hatchery. The hatch might fall. Yes, the hatch will fall. Uh, splits are not too good. Widow Mines are missing. Drilling Claws not ready here. Uh, gets cleaned. No, the hatch survives. But this one is close to being killed. Uh, he, he needs to produce new queens. Uh, Medivac boosts out of there. Mm, there we go. 2-2 two, two against 2-1. Oh, the Vidomite! <laughs> 14 kills, that's insane. The Thor, very strong. Gets micro there a little bit. And with the help of the Marines, it should be enough to clean this. Ah, killing one more Mutalist there, really nice. So the upgrades on the Thor are not too good, but I guess it's fine. There we go. Thor's here! I'm taking finally a, th a fourth base. And yeah, I I'm... I'm really... I mean, Colibri was down and out since the beginning. It was so hard for him to, to, ca to catch up. He's on 80 drones now, which is really good. His income is looking healthy. He is on 2-2. But with losing all the queens, he doesn't have the larva he needs to to replenish his units. There's a small counter attack again. I would love to see a drop at the ma uh, at the main base again, taking that base. That's really strange. But there we go. There's the attack, and all those marines clumped us crazy. The Thor gets micro back, but as you can see, there's not much left. This counter attack gets cleaned, but he can't hold strong at the front. Uh, Bane links. Ooh, that save on the Marine. Wow. Uh, the Thor gets killed, but the hatch falls. And now he's on three bases. He doesn't have too much gas. The Thor is still strong here with the plus one armor upgrade. Oh god. Still not landed. Mm, he can't. He can't attack there. He's producing more and more circlings, but I guess as soon as 3-3 finishes up, that's it. Oh, the drop <laughs> above the spore crawler. But yeah, there are two queens. I might be able to kill those. Uh, not too many banes here. It's, it, it is enough. The wrapper on the Thor is good. And the Widow Mines dropping around dying, but here we are. He lost two more queens, so less larva again and again. And even though he can clear this. The drop in the main is still strong. Oh, he's losing so many drones there. Down to 69 now. Which wouldn't be that bad, but he's only on two bases mining here. This one. Oh, he lost the spawning pool, didn't he? Oh, he lost the spawning pool. Now he has no larva and can't produce circlings, which means he can't produce banelings anymore. If he runs out of circlings, oh god, he needs to remake the spawning pool. Uh, I don't know about that base. I mean, for larva, sure, yes, fine, but... Mm, very difficult. 3-3 three, three will finish soon for me. I got a planetary with some turrets here. And you can see I keep I keep my money low. I'm I'm never maxed out, right? But I try to keep my money low. Which is really good here. So 3-3. Three, three, soon finished. 20 seconds to go. Uh, that minefield. He got two, two less mutalists. He goes in. The splash on the Vidomans is good. Killing a lot of those marines. But... Oh, uh, clump! Dead! But he will lose this base. Mm, he saturated the base down there, that's good. Uh, still, oh no, this gun, oh, yeah, now it falls. Two more hatchery are falling. How many hatcheries died? Three in total so far, that's a lot. 
And the spawning pool is finished, so we can finally remake units, but look at that! Because of the dying spawning pool, the queens and the hatcheries dying all along, he got over mints. He can't produce units because of the lack of lava. And eventually, I might be able to win this game. Look at the supply. Oh, the widow mines. Oh, good shot. Moving into that. Moving into the natural, most likely soon. There we go. GG. GG. Hype. So that was that game against Colibri. Top 100 GM. And I wrecked him. Okay, his opening was disadvantageous for him with how I handled it. But that's the risk. That's the risk of going uh, speedling aggression. You need to cancel the orbital command, otherwise you are so far behind against the 3cc opening. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed and we see you next time. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.